Uh, feels like the intensity in practice is picking up a little bit. Is that accurate? And uh, how's it feel to kind of dial it up a little bit? Yeah, it feels good. You know, I think after a few days, you get get to the pace and, and uh, intensity goes up. Execution is better, obviously, when you get more practices under your belt. So it feels pretty good. I think guys are hungry and um, trying hard in the practices, which is good. You know, that's how we want to want to practice so we could transfer it to the game easier. Looking at year to year, even going all the way back to when you first started, how has your approach to the preseason changed until now? Well, yeah, I think it, obviously your first camp, you're fighting for a spot, even second, third, you know, and then right now it's a little bit different, you know, I just try to work on the game so so I'm ready to start the season and, and uh, not worry too much about preseason games, obviously try to play well and try to try to get the timing right and that's how it kind of goes when you get older and try to try to use the preseason games to just the timing is, is the biggest thing I think because practice is obviously it's it's hockey too but it's different than games so but uh, yeah it's it's uh, it's still a long preseason so there's a lot of time to kind of sharpen your sword a little bit and, and just get ready. Is there a part of you that gets a little bit even excited for for your first preseason game? Yeah I think it's nice to play some games after a long summer break and, and uh, training camp practices are usually intense like you said and hard so so it's nice to play some games as well because those are then you actually feel uh, you get a better feel how you how you feel on the ice personally and, and stuff like that so it's it's good. As your career goes on you understand a little bit more of like how to do the, the marathon of the season and not you know burn yourself out in camp trying to you know go 200% the first week? For sure you know, I think it's Experience experience helps with when you play many 82 game seasons and close to uh, you know 100 games uh, at least once we played and and you you've seen a lot of like how long the season could be and even the regular season it's a lot a lot of games so so yeah it's it's managing as well you know obviously when you practice you practice as hard as you can and try to get better but it's a, it's a lot of managing and and uh, try to stay healthy that's the biggest thing. Logan O'Connor signs a six-year extension. What was missed when he wasn't with you guys in the playoffs, and what are you looking forward to him adding to this group now for the future? Yeah, it's it's great to see. I was happy for him. You know, he def, definitely earned the earned the contract, and he's a he's our, our kind of player. I would say, you know, hard worker and very reliable, fast skater, and he can score some goals like we've seen in the past. You know, and and uh, obviously in the playoffs we missed him a lot with his skating and. Just how solid he is, he does make a lot of mistakes out there and, and really, very reliable, which is exactly what you need when you play in the playoffs. So hopefully he can be with us this year. Um, all right, so obviously with the kind of heated up competition around here, are you just chomping at the bit to get some in-game action soon? Yeah, I'm ready to go. Uh, feel pretty good on the ice. So uh, yeah, I watched a little bit of the game the other night and just made me want to play a game more, so yeah, I'm ready to go. I guess, where do you feel like you're, I guess, just how are you feeling about the whole competition right now and uh, where your game's at? Uh, I mean, I'm not necessarily looking at the competition too much, more just focused on myself and uh, having a growth mindset and getting better every day. How, how does your, how's your mindset a little bit different this year versus last year, you know, first time coming into an NHL camp, things like that, having that year of pro and a little bit more familiarity? Yeah, I mean, just more confidence, uh, a little more comfortable around the rink, around all the guys, and uh, comfortable with all the drills and systems. So uh, there's just a lot less that's new to me. So, um, yeah, just more confidence in that. This offseason was challenging. What did you do to push yourself this summer? Uh, just a ton of stuff in the weight room. Uh, I was a different trainer I used this, uh, this summer, um, and it was just a lot more uh, volume and sets, I guess. Uh, a lot of running and uh, conditioning too, so um, I'm hoping that's going to prepare me for the, the long season here. You mentioned a growth mindset. That's something we've heard from a few players over the years. Is that something you carry with you anyway and had that coming in, or is that a product of kind of being around this culture? Yeah, I mean, that's something I think I've always kind of had. Uh, focused a ton on that in college. Uh, that was a big, big thing that my college coach preached, so uh, that's something I carried over to, to the pro game and still use every day. Undrafted college free agent, do you look at someone like Logan O'Connor as the gold standard for where the career 
Yeah, for sure. I mean, saw the big deal he just signed. Uh, obviously, super happy for him. Um, and yeah, he's a he's a guy that has been super good to me and um, has helped with the transition. So uh, he's a guy I definitely look up to. Were you able to jump right in at the NHL level and kind of acclimate your game right away? How much has that kind of helped you carry forward your confidence? Is that something you've talked at all about with coaching staff here and you know just about the fact that you were able to you know, get in meaningful NHL games last year? Um, I mean, a little bit. I think that's more just something that is helping me out this year. Uh, and obviously, I don't know that I was necessarily ready right away last year. I think the time in, in the American League helped me out a ton with those coaches. Um, so I'm not going to pretend like it was an easy transition by any means, but um, I definitely felt comfortable last year at that speed, and uh, I think I'll just feel a little bit more comfortable this year. Friends coming into camp because of the training, whether that be feeling stronger or faster? Yeah, I think uh, just a little bit better cardio wise. I don't know if the altitude was quite as bad. Um, and I guess my legs just felt good underneath me. Um, I skated a good amount uh, all through August, too. So um, it's not like I was uh, struggling to get my legs underneath me. And um, yeah, I just feel strong, too. So uh, I think good off season definitely helped me out. Was you changing up your trainer, your personal decision, or was that maybe something that the team had suggested or some other? It, it was more so just the program that I train train at has a new trainer this this past summer, so it was a new guy, and um, yeah, it was it was a good change, I think. The American League moved to mandatory neck protection. Being from Minnesota, I know that hit that community really hard. What is your reaction to maybe adopting that with your equipment? Yeah, I think it's pretty cool. Obviously, you're seeing a lot of guys. Uh, using the War Road stuff, uh, just from Minnesota, and I wear the War Road shirt, but um, still haven't made the transition to the neck, neck piece yet, so um, I'll maybe switch to that at some point. I uh, just haven't really, haven't done it yet. Thank you. Uh, Logan O'Connor gets that extension, I guess. What was your initial reaction and your thoughts on the signing overall? Yeah, I know it's awesome. Uh, you know, so happy for him. He's a great teammate, um, great friend, you know, kind of off the ice. And, uh, you know, he's obviously worked hard and um, deserves every penny. So um, he's just a guy that, you know, leads by example. Kind of feel like everyone kind of feeds off him. So uh, I'm sure it's kind of a nice weight off his shoulders. That's never fun kind of playing in a contract season. So I think now for him, he, he did a great job rehab and he's going to come out flying. Leading by example, obviously a great leadership quality. What other leadership qualities do you see in him and how do you like to see him grow that in the future? Yeah, I mean, he's just an, he's an all-around player. I think, you know, he can play in any kind of position. He kind of is one of our, uh, you know, top penalty killers. And then, um, you know, for me personally, I've kind of had the pleasure of being on line with him kind of most of the last season. So I um, feel like he drives the play, you know, creates a lot of chances with his speed. So um, if we could just keep forming chemistry from day one and kind of build off that, you know, we'll have success. Neil said that he described getting... LOC locked up as a necessity for this group because of how much he kind of embodies just the culture and the work ethic. Just, I mean, what can you say about something like that? Coming from a player like Kale, it's pretty high praise for him. Yeah, no, definitely. I think he said it perfectly. It's definitely high praise. And, uh, you know, like I said before, every penny is deserved. He, he's, done a, he's done a lot. He, I think he does a lot, you know, for the community um, off the ice as well. So um, I think someone was teasing saying, you know, they got the mayor locked up for, uh, for six more years. So I think, I think that's the perfect word to describe me. You know, he knows everyone. If you need something, he's your guy to go to. So I'm um, super happy for him and his family. How have you watched that leadership role or his progress in just the time that he's been here? Yeah, I think kind of from day one, he, he's taken me under his wing. I know he's not like the oldest guy on the team, but again, I feel like everybody kind of, you know, is attracted to someone who kind of works their bag off on and off the ice. And, um, you know, he's one of the first guys on the ice, last guy's off. So um, if someone of that kind of caliber is doing the extra work, I think kind of everyone looks at that and says, okay, I should be doing extra work too. So um, again, it's not always the most vocal guy that needs to be a leader. It's someone like that who kind of leads by example. Playing down the middle, what was the biggest surprise or challenge getting acclimated to that center with the position full time? Um, I think just playing kind of in all three zones. A um, little learning curve, you know, when you're a winger, you kind of just come back, stop in the D zone. There's not much, I mean, there is some responsibility, but definitely not as much as center. You kind of got to, you're kind of in a three man unit out there working with the D, so kind of just adjusting to that. But um, again, I kind of, as the season went on, felt way more comfortable. And um, once you form some chemistry with some line mates, I kind of feel like you're working as a five man unit out there. So um, again, not to keep, you know, harping on the LOC, but, you know, having him back is obviously huge for me and Woody. How do you compare yourself as a player today versus the guy who got here a year ago? I think just my comfort level and confidence is, you know, way higher. Um, 
again, I was confident, you know, obviously when I came in, they signed me and, you know, believed in me, but just kind of being, I could feel like I could be more myself now, you know, you don't want to come in and be the loud kind of, I mean, I feel like I have a pretty big personality, so I didn't want to come in and kind of be the loudest guy in the room and kind of have, um, you know, glares getting shot at me, like who the hell is this guy coming in like that? So again, just being more comfortable, kind of um, forming some bonds off the ice with a lot of these guys and, you know, they've made us feel, you know, kind of welcome from day one. So again, just coming in playing with confidence and being myself. Yeah, I mean that's a that's a necessity. I think uh, I'm excited. He's one of my best buddies, and uh, and always will be. So uh, I love that guy to death, and uh, he's earned what he's gotten. Obviously, he's one of the hardest working guys out there, and he competes every single shift. And um, we missed him so much last playoffs, just in terms of the, our our identity in the bottom uh, two lines, and um, he plays such crucial minutes for us, whether it's uh, against high and stuff. So um, to have him around and have him. Be that guy to kind of lean on for culture wise and in our bottom six is uh, pretty awesome. You said you were one of the first guys he told when the deal was happening or done. What's your reaction to that when you hear that? Like when I heard the deal was done? Yeah. I mean, it was. I was just happy. I think it all happened really quick for him. I think he was um, getting ready, obviously, to go play the season out and then see what happens. Obviously, we're we're tight with everything. So, um, but I think I think it's a great deal for both sides. Obviously, he earned the upgrade, and um, for us, it's a great deal where we have the flexibility to add some guys and put some good guys around him too. So, um, yeah, it's, he's an awesome one. He's a team favorite for everybody on our team. He's just such a great guy. So, since you played your first game, he's gone from an AHLer that's played five NHL games to what he is now. Like, how how did he get here? I mean, it's just the it's the model that you wish like a lot of guys could be. I mean, I think. When you you can't you can never count guys out, and I think for him he's just had that mentality that he was going to get there one day, and um, it's pretty cool to see that story. Obviously, just um, being a guy undrafted and then coming in, proving it at camp, and then um, getting AHL deal and keep keeping up the ranks. So um, everybody kind of needs a guy like that, and it's in a way it's a feel good story. But he did it to himself. He worked as hard as he could. Nothing was fed to him, and. Um, I think that's why everybody respects him so much. He seems like one of the subtle leaders in this room. How do you describe his leadership style, and how would you like to see him, I guess, grow in that role? Yeah, I, I wouldn't call him subtle, to be honest with you. I mean, he's he's subtle in the way that of how he, maybe he approaches it, but I don't. I think he is a leader in this room through and through. And um, like I touched on, I think he's such a crucial piece for us in that bottom six. Whether he's even, I mean, he, last year he was playing on the second line at times with guys injured, so. Um, but he brings that like exactly the identity that we want to play with fast, hard, and um, he does it every single shift, every night. So um, anytime a guy's coming in fighting for a spot, you look at that guy and you know exactly how you want to play. So um, he does it the right way, and it's fun to watch. So yeah. When it comes to bringing new guys into the fold, who in the current room comes to mind as someone that really helps to welcome new players? Uh, sorry, like the new guys that we got in this year, that were yeah. somebody that's already been here. And thinking helps. back to last year, okay. like Colton and Wood also joined this Oh, team. yeah, yeah. I think, I mean, it's got to be everybody. I, I mean, when you have a culture like, like we do, we have to establish it right away. And I think at times, especially with Landy, it's lacked in, in certain areas. And um, But I, th I feel like we found a nice mold now where everybody kind of picks up the sock. And um, you bring in guys like Mitty, all the guys at the trade deadline, Colts, Woody at the beginning of the year. Um, obviously, a lot of turnover, and those guys have to understand process and the way that we do things right away here and that starts with us at the top but then goes to guys like OC guys at the bottom doesn't doesn't really matter so it kind of has to be everybody everybody's got to lean on each other and yeah when guys come here they talk about how hard you guys work I imagine that could be a little intimidating coming to the organization do you balance that when you're welcoming new guys in like the rink is the rink stuff and we can welcome you on the personal side too kind of balance that out yeah, I mean, obviously you want to get together as a team uh, um, and bond off the ice. I think those are crucial things, whether it's just get together as a group, going out golfing or going to dinner, something like that. But um, I think for us as a group, you come to the rink and you know it's work time. I don't think for us it's um, you come in, you work out. I think everybody has the same mindset. We want to make each other better. and um, We push ourselves in practice so that games um, we feel more comfortable and just everybody's on the same page. So um, I think we... We try and do a really good job out here and keep the pace very high and um, elevate guys' games day in, day out.